Hi, my name is Martin Reeves, aka DJ Crafty Cuts, and I'm a DJ stroke producer. <laughs> moment I basically have just finished my album with Dynamite MC called All Four Corners it's taken me a year I took um, a lot of time off of from DJing and really knuckled down to write my fourth album and I'm really excited about this for me it's the first real real album I basically oh, I don't like this track, oh, I love this track, and then you change the running order, and then that track goes first, and this the track, and then you actually make a track to start the album with. And I actually done a track, which is quite unique, called The Greatest Lines, which was the last track that we finished, where I took snippets of all the tracks, and then I scratched all the vocals to make verses. It kind of tells a story in its own right, well, hence why we call it The Greatest Lines, and it's got little snippets from all the artists. And it wrapped up the album really nicely, and I just felt this is it, this is complete, I'm not going to go back. There are so many people still that I would love to work with in the studio. Um, so many rappers, so many producers, you know, just for example like Pharrell and Niall Rogers. You know, these are people that have wrote music that have changed the course of music really. They've, they've brought dance music to the forefront again when rock and bands and stuff was huge and then yeah there's I'm not going to go through so many lists but um, I'm, my roots are funk and hip hop so any good solid funk and hip hop artists I'd love to work with Rakim and Big Daddy Kane people like that who I really admire and look up to and you know there's still going to be that opportunity hopefully so my, maybe my next album might just be a hip hop album because I've already started writing hip hop tracks and I've got about six instrumentals at the moment <laughs> It's the way I roll, you know, I try and change people's moods with music and, and inspire them in different ways, whether it's, you know, a heavy track or something light and jazzy and funky, you know, music is, controls our minds and our souls. Years ago, if you were hip hop, that was it. That's you were only hip hop and a househead. And then I think what started to change things was the Big Beat Boutique back in Brighton with Fatboy Slim, where he'd introduced like drum and bass and big beat and hip hop and house music all under one roof and the Heavenly Social in London. And then Bristol started getting word of it with the blow pop nights, and you'd see like a hip hop act with a house act and a drum and bass act. And I think that if you're going to go to a night for music, what could be better? You know, you get a good house DJ, a good hip hop DJ to start the night off with, and then maybe a breaks DJ alongside the house DJ, and then to finish it off with some drum and bass. Perfect for me, I'd go to that night if there were good DJs. <laughs> I've had some incredible experiences clubbing wise in Bristol, probably more than anywhere, even nearly as much as my hometown in Brighton and London, fabric and stuff like that. So the three main cities in, in the world to me that, are, that mean the most, where I've got most of my friends, most of my great memories is Brighton, Bristol and London. And I've played most of the clubs in Bristol, so I've got a lot of good memories, a lot of good times, a lot of late nights, a lot of what hotel am I in tonight? Um, kind of losing my way a little bit, but fond memories, good times, lots of good friends, and Bristol's definitely got a special place in my heart for sure. Smoke weed every day.